it, sh it should raise concerns. As we know um, from the Dobbs decision, uh, one of the things that uh, we saw uh, from, uh, from Judge Thompson is that they are looking to go further. The president, now that he's back from, from Saudi Arabia, does the president still believe that Saudi Arabia and the Crown Prince should be considered uh, a pariah, or uh, did this trip change his view about that? So as you heard from the president again on Friday, he made very clear that um, how he how, that he made his views very clear uh, to uh, the crown prince uh, on that uh, during that bilat meeting, and he even said it would be inconsistent, right, for a president of the United States uh, not to uh, speak of our values, uh, not to uh, um, you know his 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 comments stand. Uh, you know, they, he has uh, he has uh, he has been pretty clear about that, uh, about about um, about where he stands on on the comments that he made during uh, the campaign. The president came back from his trip. He was asked if he regretted the fist bump with the Saudi crown prince, and he said, "Why don't you guys talk about something that matters?" Can you just help us understand why he suggested that that fist bump did not matter? Well, here's the thing. I think the way that the president looks at this is. Um, is what were the issues, the agenda that was discussed, uh, the policies that were that were discussed, uh, and what were the deliverables? Family or oh, colleagues absolutely. that this bump and that meeting with MBS mattered a lot, right? Well, I'll say this: the president spoke to. He was asked directly about. Um, um, uh, the Saudi foreign minister says he didn't hear you accuse the crown prince. Is he telling the truth? No. He was at the fist pump, Mr. President. Will inflation go down from here, Mr. The foreign minister says he was there and he didn't hear the president confront uh, MBS in that way. So are are they lying about that? So I'll say this: the president was asked this question and he spoke to it directly. And uh, I th I do believe uh, that. Uh, you know, if uh, if anyone uh, telling you differently about what the president said, uh, they weren't listening to the president himself. Following up about this comment that the Saudis say did not happen, but the president says did happen. Did you personally hear the president raise the issue? Of I trust the president. He he made those comments. Uh, as you heard directly from him during uh, during the press conference, uh, and so, so you did not hear him say that. I am just saying to you that the president himself. Uh, I was not in the meeting to to answer that question, but the president himself uh, said and laid out very clearly something the, something the vice president said today. Does the president agree with her that the recent Supreme Court decision on abortion access is similar to slavery? Uh, I have not seen her comments. I would like to see her comments for myself her before. Was, we know NAACP that our country has a history of claiming ownership over human bodies. We know NAACP that our country has a history of claiming ownership over human bodies. That does matter, and that is important. Slavery, so the president for, agrees. For me, I, I appreciate you reading out what she said. I need to actually see exactly uh, what was uh, uh, what was uh, what was said, and in what in what complete context. So the president has talked obviously a lot about his support for a free and independent media, and I'm so wondering why the U.S. press did not get access to that greeting between uh, President Biden and the crowd press, and we had to rely on Saudi state media for so, the images of that fist bump. So first, look. We, as you know, we tried. We do everything that we possibly can when we go uh, to a host country to make sure that you all have access, uh, that there is transparency. Which is why you heard from the president directly, and he held uh, a press conference that Friday uh, in in Jeddah, as I just mentioned, so that he can read out himself uh, what what occurred in the bilat, and also you all were able to ask questions. Uh, sometimes it is not perfect. We understand that, but. <laughs> The president urged Saudi Arabia to stop purchasing uh, oil from Russia because Saudi Arabia has actually doubled its uh, Russian oil imports this quarter, which is, of course, helping Russia's cash flow. So I, I don't have anything to read out for, for you on that. As you know, at the G7, uh, one of the conversations that came up uh, when the president was there recently uh, in Europe, in Germany specifically, uh, was how to put a, a cap on Russia, Russia
Natasha Oil. Uh, that is what we're what's about to happen. What we're on the cusp of doing with the reconciliation bill is going to imp impact tens of millions. And when it comes to climate change, you, you saw the president's statement just recently. Uh, if if Senate doesn't act on that and doesn't take action on climate, uh, he has a contingency plan, which is using his executive authority uh, to make sure that uh, we uh, take take on uh, climate climate change uh, in a way that's going to be effective. I and the president says he's prepared to act on climate. What's the time frame for that? Do you wait until the fall? Do you, I, you get started before that? What's the overall time frame? We don't have a timeline for you at this point. Uh, does the president stand by using location data on this scale, especially in light of concerns of the use of phone data when it comes to peer tracking apps, which the administration has talked to quite a bit? So I have not seen this da data, so I need to take a look at it so that I can respond in a way uh, that's uh, that's fulsome and be able to answer your question. I just haven't seen that data. But I refer you at any more specifics on that. Clearly, I refer you to the Department of Homeland Security. But how, does the how does the administration feel about using location I, data? Honestly, on Eugene, I just need, I, in order for me to respond to your question, I just need to see exactly what you're asking me about and what uh, and what the data is. I, I can't do that without knowing spe the specifics. Yeah, yeah.